Hello and welcome, I'm CFS Assassin and this will be part 12 of our Assassin's Creed 2 complete playthrough. Um, I was going to do a feather guide between 11 and 12, but unfortunately I forgot to do the viewpoints before jumping back to Monte Regioni. So what we're going to do is, we're going to double check there's nothing in the chest. There shouldn't be, but just in case. No, don't climb up there, check the chest. Come on. Yeah, nothing in the chest, fantastic. Then we're going to go down to the fast travel and pop back over to Venice. Uh, then I'll do the viewpoints, at which point there will be a cut in the film, as I will go then and do the feather guide that I should have done. Okay, so let's just double check in here, we're all repaired, yes, there's no more armour we can get, no. We're still missing one of the Miseglias armour. Uh, we're missing a weapon. Oh, there it is. The Sword of Altair. Yep, we'll take that. Sounds good to me. And that's all the weapons now collected, which is fantastic. Top up the old throwing knives, and everything else is good. Right, fantastic. Double check for any more pouches before we head out. Nope, no more pouches to get. We're not going to change the colour of our robes again. We've already changed it once. And I quite like the black. Okay, apothecary supplies, make sure we toss up on those. Poison's all full, good, fantastic. Right, the fast travel then. Okay. Right, we're going to Venice, and we are going to... Where are we going to jump? Mm. Right, let's go to... Yeah, San Paolo Rialto Bridge. Looks like a good spot to go to. Because that way we can head down on the map quite easily to get these viewpoints done rather than jumping into the area we don't actually have explored yet. Right, so where's the first viewpoint we're going to? It is all the way over there. That was a really bad decision by me. Never mind. Let's get over to that. jog or sprint rather and we'll get there still accidentally thieving people but never mind it's no biggie at the moment because we are completely anonymous as the uh, Mardi Gras or the festival is on and so we are wearing a mask a masquerade mask so nobody knows who the hell we are always good for an assassin to be Right, I may be going wrong here because I may not be able to then cross back over there, but we'll see. I can't remember, so I'll look at the map. And that's the nearest one, so we'll just keep it going down this road. There is one eventually. We could just try and jump across. Actually, that looks like a good spot to jump across. Yeah, sod it. Climb up there, up there, fantastic, look at that. And then we're going to close that gap quite nicely. Right, I'm going against the tide there, or the direction we want to go, just purely and simply so I can get up quicker to the top. Yes, I know you can see me, mate, I don't really care though. This fella, I will kill. Just because he's in the way. There we go. I feel like that's where we're headed. Is this wonderful tower just here? Uh, I think you can actually do that if you do the uh, white one we actually climbed on top of. If you jump, do the jump and grab from there. I think you can reach that second white ledge. Not positive though, so don't hold me to that. <laughs> right, so that's that one done. Where's the next one? Uh, we're going to go this way first, I think. What we'll do is we'll go grab... Th oh no, there's two that way. There's two that way. Let's do this one. We can then sort of come back on ourselves, can't we? Geronimo. Not going to chase the Borgia. 
message at the moment. Just seems counterintuitive to what we want to do. Just up there, look. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> so we'll try the uh, jump and grab on this one, shall we? So if you get onto that one, I mean, come right over here. No, no, it didn't want to let me. Never mind. Obviously, if you can, it's a tricky one, and I can't be bothered with trying to sit here and do it over and over again to get it instead we'll just get all the viewpoints done shall we <laughs> much quicker much easier less time for you guys watching you doing something stupid like climb up the building jump off the building climb up the building jump off the building right okay this way this way. No, get off the stupid pole. There you go, Carnival performance. That's it. Not Mardi Gras. Carnival. Oh, get out the stupid well. Bloody thing. Foul creature, stay away from me. Yeah, we're not going to bother. Facing you. There may be a feather around here by the sound of it. If there is, we're going to try and avoid collecting it. So that I can again do that in the feather guide. There you go. That's that viewpoint done. Only two more, I think. Might be three. Sure, it's only two though. We'll see. Right, good map updated. Fantastic. And it's two more. Right, okay, well, we're going to go and grab that codex page on the way to that viewpoint. And I'm finally not calling them flight points for the first time in this series. Thought it deserved mention, since I haven't managed it at all. <laughs> Throughout the rest of this series. Uh, no, uh, let's cut through that hole there. Uh, so then we can go this way. And we can cut across this bridge. Or bridge thing. It's taking a shortcut across the water there. Well, you don't always have to go around, do you? We're going to avoid going to that door. To the brothel. Since that's what it is. Okay. And across here. And somewhere in here. Uh, these ladies can help. Mm, this could be fun. Once we figure out where exactly this thing is, we can use them to get the guards out of the way. Um. Come, this thing. Hold on. Really? There they are. Thank God for that. Finally found them. My ladies, you're a bit slow here. I know I made you run round in one massive, great big circle, but you could have done it a bit quicker, couldn't you? Oh, and it's that one right at the back there. Lovely. Oh, here we've got a codex page. All right, now we just cut out this gateway. Go away, human. Gateway, go away. Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's up at least. And I wonder if there's a way across without having to do the massive jump. And the answer is no. Kill you. 
jump on there. And do that. Because it's just quicker and easier. And up we go. Come on, get me to the top. Get me to the church on time. And that's that viewpoint done. One more. Then we'll have the shortcut while I go and do the ferret guide. Right, last one is all the way over there. Oh crap. Yep. That was definitely dead because I pointed the wrong way as I jumped off. <laughs> well, uh, it doesn't reset the viewpoint, thank God. Save just after that, so I don't have to climb the bloody thing again. I can just go from wherever I am. Well, that last viewpoint once I've reset it on the map. Mm. Going that way. And yeah, we're going to go in almost a perfectly straight line because it's... There's only really one way to get to it. And that's this wonderful little bridge here. Um, don't want to go down this way. Probably not, but we'll go this way anyway. Alright, get up on that bridge. Fantastic. Then we go this way. Whoops, sorry mate. Didn't mean to do that. Oh goody, one of these ones. No, okay. We'll do this then. All else fails, go to the edges. <laughs> You'll always find at least one way up a building. And if you're careful about it, as you've just seen, you can get more than one. Right. Nearly at the last viewpoint. Fantasticness. Right, and there we go. That is the last viewpoint. Which means... Once this is uh, done this, we'll jump down into that hay bale and then we'll go stand on the ground. Like I did this. Right, and I'm going to give you a cut here. Go to the further guide and then I'll be right back. You won't notice any time. Okay, and we're back. Uh, I think we should start off by doing the assassination contracts. There shouldn't be too many of them, so let's just get them done and out of the way, and then we can get on with the storyline again. Okay. Some of the uh, assassination contracts are quite tricky at times, as you've seen in the past, but uh, I do enjoy them. Again, it's another bit of what makes this game just fun to replay, because you forget exactly what you did the last time and or I do anyway but uh, that's me <laughs> all right so what we got several of Archbishop Salviati's fellow conspirators are trying to hide from justice they have taken advantage of Corn of Carnival who disguise themselves as Harlequins find them among the revelers and strike them down Alright, we're going to go like this. We haven't got to do it in a certain amount of time, so yeah, we'll definitely be poisoning them. And you're the nearest. I'm going to drop down to you. Let me go through here. Yeah, we're going to go through here and then... Uh, no, we're not. Ah, look at the map, John. Look at the map. Yes, we are. We are going to go across this bridge. Um, this bridge. <laughs> and then around. That's the best bet. Once we start to get close, I will purchase myself some... Uh, courtesans. There you go. I like to walk amongst. That way we can just walk around with them. Okay, uh, yeah, we need to go into this little cubby hole here by the looks of it. 
Whoops. Didn't mean to steal from the honest. There he is. Whatever I did to deserve this punishment, I'm sorry! You wouldn't be looking for a good time now because you were ready Right, and we're away from there. Which one of these two is next? That'll be you. Should die very soon anyway. Oop, I reduced two stones, got to wait for him to die, haven't I? Alright, go and die. Da -da -da. This is just the easiest way to make sure you're not getting spotted by killing them. There you go, look at that. He's on the other side of that wall, he can't see me, so I'm fine with that. Right, next. Doing this because it's just quicker again. Do that. Followed by and that. Yep, yeah, I know you see some uh, courtesans there. Even amongst that lot. What's the girl to do surrounded by so many hands? Yeah. Aha! Nacho! On him! Back here, you little fucker. He's dead. Then we'll just sit here for a minute. There we go. Got spotted because the guards decided to respawn there. For no reason. That's annoying. He'd sent them off to there and then they just went, um, do you know what? Actually, no, we're going to come back. Or spawn another set. Or whatever it did. Right. This time, <laughs> ladies, come with me. Distract those gentlemen for me. Hey, you're dead. So let's go around here. And we'll sit in this little cubby here and wait for you to die. Without us getting attacked. This time. <laughs> and he's on his way out now. Be dead soon. There we go, look well, that one done. Right, next. Back there. That's one done. One down, and I don't know how many to go. I remember. I'm fairly sure it was just literally three per uh, district. Every time you open up a new district, you get three more. The only reason there were so many for the first three areas is because you didn't get them unlocked until you'd unlocked all of the districts, which was weird, to say the least. But there we go. And up we go. That's number two then. I'll have a drink. One of Francesco de Pazzi's cousins is throwing a party. 
Find the location of the party by telling a guest once there, kill the host. I'm sure the guest won't miss him. Okay, fantastic. We're going across the roofs, so we need to switch to throwing knives. Preferably, we will end up stabbing most of these because the throwing knives are just a pain in the ass. Let's see we'll see. Oh, there he is. Cheers, rather. Yep, I'm not going to worry about getting around there because look, there she is. Which way are you headed now? You're going straight ahead, are you? Fantastic. You have no business. You should not be up. You will not sleep here alive. And across and fucking sharp fish like. Right, going through. We going through. You going through here. So you're going to go this side. to this party on time. Wait for to finish looking at the body. Oh look, someone died. We've got to stare at it for ten minutes. Okay. Oh, wonderful. You're down there. Is there a third? Yes, there is. Let's go do that, man. What's going on? What's all this then? Did you do? You are obviously quite the way. I'm considered a funny man too, you know. Stop. Off we go. Ciao, bello. Ciao. Lady, out the way, please. All right, there we go. Get this last. Uh, hopefully, I think it's the last. I'm not certain, mate. Sherton. Certain. Put my teeth back in in a minute. Maybe. <laughs> right, okay. Destination contract number three for this district tour. A Venetian conduct conductieri. Tero, uh, 
don't ask me to pronounce it properly, has kidnapped several artists and is forcing them to depict him as a war hero. Do not let him distort history in such an obscene fashion. Kill him afterwards. I'll contact the artists. I need them to decorate my family's crypt. Lovely. Okay, so we've got to find this uh, gentleman who is trying to change history a bit there. Where is he going to be? Let's just jump straight in there, shall we? And then we'll go this way. My bet is he's on a boat. But we'll go this way just in case he's not. Because he could just as easily be on the land. But we'll find out soon enough. Yep, he's on land. Right, okay. Oh lovely, one of them just killed himself. Right, that's him dead. Right, let's get the hell out, shall we? You should right here with you, Fratello. Where the hell did Did you see which way he went? Yeah, move. Where? Merda. I'm gonna sit in there for a minute. Wait for us to be uh, anonymous again, so they're not chasing us. Are you gonna come over here? Ah, whoop, look, you just died. Whoop, so did you. Did you look at that? The ones that made it over here seem to have disappeared. Don't know what happened to them. Can't believe we managed to get two of them. Right, any more for any more? No, right. In that case, let's get on with the main storyline, shall we, folks? Okay. Right, we're going to stop by the blacksmith and double check we are fully stocked on throwing knives because I know we've used some of those. No, no more armor bits. Yeah, okay, none of them. Yeah, we've used a few of them, haven't we? Right, do that. Oh, I could throw some money at your feet, but I'm not going to. Don't want to. <laughs> Giving money to people that get in the way, I mean. Not what a nobleman would do. And no, I'm not cynical at all. Why would you ever think that? Right. I'm going right the way around for no apparent reason. By the looks of it. So let's just go. Thank you, Mr. I didn't want your ride, I just wanted to use it briefly. Never mind. Okay. On to the storyline. Here we go. <laughs> Antonio, we need to talk. 
Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora! Meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. <coughs> Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole her so, money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Okie doke, let's go kill a thief. Don't come any closer, or I will carve up another one. Don't make me kill again! Whatever this Who the hell about, are you? Get away place. from me! Oh, I fell right behind him there, didn't I? And he's dead. Oh, and plus just two uh, potions there. Oh, we're, we're near to a doctor anyway, so let's restock the potions. And some poison as well. We used a couple of that. That's right. better for now. There's nothing else on the map now. I didn't think there would be. No, right, good. Let's get on with this then and get on to the next part. I think we just killed him with clumsy yes. and these thought of sort of remember that was the best way to get it there get him done you just get ahead of him not entirely though the fluke in other words this little island is a pain in the ass to get onto sometimes Hence the uh, constant just jump on it. <laughs> you have our gratitude, Ezio. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to rid Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. Sounds like fun. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> Whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church, but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depth of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized. So I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firm in my care. Among other things, I'm sure.
but there you go. In this game so far, we have talked about pussy. Signore, signore. And come hard on, dance. come on! The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. Who you best get to it, Ezio. Sounds like fun. Let's get on it then. Uh, since this is the nearest, we'll do this one first, shall we? Whoops. Signori, signori! Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies? Here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. Sounds good. In order to do this, you just pickpocket them, by the way. Hello. Come inside. Have anything for you, belle mia? Next lot. You're all looking lovely this afternoon. Trouble you for a ribbon. You're no doubt genuine sincerity will only make me weep while pummeling your beady eyes backwards. You're all looking lovely this afternoon. How many more do I need? Oh, one more ribbon and I've done it. <laughs> Mind if I join you? There we go. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You've proved yourself a favourite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. Fantastic. That's that one done. Uh, this one over here now. I can't remember what, which one's which, by the way. So. Right, which one's nearest? Yeah, that one is the nearest. And it is right on the outside. Okay. Not what I meant to do, but never mind. Who's next? Welcome, Benvenuti. Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the Golden Mask. Let's do this thing then. I love a free run. Gotta love a free run.
don't know if I've just done that the wrong way, but apparently not. Well over halfway, aren't we? <laughs> That's the halfway alarm. And then I've used half the time already. Four more. Three. Two. One more. There we go, look at that. Easily done. Not a tricky challenge, is it? The winner! You've proven yourself the fastest and strongest in Venezia! You are now one step closer to the grand prize! Right. Shall we get this last one then, shall we? Hang on, I may be going the wrong way. I don't mind though. Running around in circles a bit doesn't hurt anything. Although I did go the right way. Ah, unusual for me. Oh, this is the fight, I think. Welcome. The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours. Oh, goody. Capture the flag. <laughs> Not a good game for me. One. He gets a little bit faster with this one, if I remember rightly. Right, once more, and we win! We've got plenty of health, or healed rather, so... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Come back here, you little bastard. Alright, he's gonna win this one. He got there before me, so he's gonna win this one. One out of three for them, okay.
And uh, there we go. <laughs> Tough one that was. We have a winner! You've protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory. Right, now for the surprise one. I think it is. It's supposed to be anyway. Step Benvenuto te lottatori. The game is simple. There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you or two? Mm. Who will win the golden mask? Lovely. A slow fight this one is it only takes one square of damage every time I do it unless I get that one looks like this one thinks himself some kind of campion go on Dante show him how sadly mistaken he is sorry Dante Sorry, mate. Not like I want to mash shit out you, but I'm gonna have to. Is there nobody else to challenge our man in the ring? Do we have a winner? Ah, we have combatants. So that's how it's going to be, eh? There we go. Signore e signori, the games of Carnevale have come to a glorious conclusion. Come see our winner claim his golden mask. Our winner has proven himself the fleetest of foot, the strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won lealmente, the winner of the golden mask is... <laughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro! Congratulations! We'll see you this evening. Poor Dante. A shame. Because he's got my mask, which means, unfortunately, uh, if I remember rightly, he's got to die now. In we go. I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister! You told us to let you know if we saw that rotten culo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. 
we'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. Oh. Let's find him first. Only the height of fashion is on display in my shop. Ah, wrong way. Idiot. No client of mine will ever be caught under dress. Let's go down here. What is Ladies, come with me. If we can, please. Come on, little legs carry me fast and carry me far. Hey, voila. Stop. Just clean everything up myself. Buonasera, signore. You made it. Marco is on a boat just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. Shoved into the bloody things. Ah! Alright, this time we stand inside those pack of girls and we slowly move around, I think, is the best bet. Damn it! Like just stand inside the nearest group and wait, shall we? Ah, oh, it's been so long since I've done this. supposed to do this? I can't do it because I can't get round fast enough. Oh, I should have done this when I was stood next to the girls. That's a funny get -up. Ah, 
Honestly, my brother embarrasses himself for his display. You have no right to speak of him that way. He's the doge. He is doge in name only, and it's Venetian money he spends. There are larger things at stake, and you know it. Marco was the one chosen to leave. Your father may have thought he'd never amount to much, may have foisted his political ambitions on you, but it doesn't matter, does it? Given where things stand. I never wanted to be doge. Then it seems you have succeeded wildly. Power is more than wealth. Does my brother truly believe he was chosen for any reason other than his riches? He was chosen for his wisdom and leadership. And this is what he does with such wisdom? Or for a light show? He hides Sorry. away in the palazzo while the city comes apart at the seams. And then he... Not for that. Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have Carnival! Merda. He's not leaving the boat. I will have to swim out there. I wouldn't try it. There we go, he's dead. Don't <laughs> be bothered with the careful approach, just kill him. No. It's too soon. I'm not ready. We rarely are. Que la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace. Right, just swim me over here, and there is apparently a nice little hidey spot right over here that I'm going to just jump straight into. No? Okay. There we go. Where have we got to go now? All the way over there. Okay, well, what we're going to do first is we're going to do this. You've just been bribed, mate. You're not 50% off. Thank you. Attenzione! Following the recent festival fire in San Polo, the Doge has Right, now we're anonymous again. Let's get the fuck over to where we need to be. Lots done there. Well, not really. Since we're anonymous, I'm not going to buy it because I'll have to swap it back out once I have bought it. But um, let's see if that's unlocked the last piece of armor for us, shall we? No. No, fantastic. Oh, yes. Okay, never mind then. I didn't think so. There's no more paintings to do. So we don't need to talk to them about that. We're going to do a swim across because, well, why the hell not? <laughs> it's quick, it's easy, and it's a straight line. Three things I like very much. Although that sounds... Worse than it meant to, it was meant to. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Never mind. Come on. And we're going to jump across here. Didn't bother diving because what's the point? We're only coming across here to go to here. No, not up there. Get that door. Just there, look. This door. There we go. Uh, 
beautifully done. Che spettacolo. Che spettacolo. A true hero. You must be exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Oh, that can be arranged. Girls! <laughs> That's just not fair. <laughs> <laughs> is what Etsy is thinking, of course. Alright, that's that sequence synced. And so another district of Venice unlocks for us. Always good. Right. We should have been dropped next to the first bit. Oh, that's seen first. It's you, it's you. Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. Lovely. Okay. Are we going to go do viewpoints or talk to that man first? Where are the viewpoints going to be? Uh, oh, over there. Uh, let's talk to the man first. No, let's do the viewpoints first. Sod it. We'll get these done. One less thing then, isn't it? Isn't it, rather? My mother would kill me for going in it. Right. Now if I go to the blacksmith, I should be able to unlock the next or the last piece of armour. That's a dark merchant, no. Not what I want. Oh, should we take a look at the uh Taylor and see if he's got another bit for me. Uh, he's going to be down this alleyway, I think. Yeah, there he is. Look. Any more pouches? Ooh, look. Poison vial upgrade. We'll take that. Nothing else for you there. And another look good. Ooh. Blacksmith. I'm not worrying about wasting money on uh, expensive upgrades here but only simply because I've got so much that I don't know what to do with it otherwise so yeah there you go look you can buy the last missing glass there we go we've got all of them now there's no more weapons no more small weapons ammunition's all full all right let's get to this bloody viewpoint yeah, like that. A great metal work right, here. Get the viewpoints done. Once we get close enough to the first bloody one, it's apparently miles over this way. My recent good fortune finding new suppliers has paid off. Ooh, that's going to be a chest room. Lovely. Good to know. Right, this will be the first one. No, not that way. Not in the bloody hay bale. What happens when you sprint everywhere? It decides to go in random directions if you just clip a key. Oh, it's not here. Ah, we're not there yet. It's over this way, is it? Ah, it's this one. Okay. Another one like this, rather. Right, take that one. 
Then we'll go do the others. And then we'll go and continue the missions, I think. We may have some assassinations to do, I don't know. We'll have a look. Are we going to have assassinations? Not by the looks of it yet. So let's just get the viewpoints done first. No, and until word returns to us from the Holy Father. 54 of 73 viewpoints sync. Oh, look at that, I'll do that. Look, look at that, I'm unknown again. Oh no, we're not going to be anymore. So which part of your pathetic... Oh, balls, definitely not now. Oh, we go. <laughs> We're running away. Bloody hell. Get off me. Well, the all hit. Qualcosa sembra pesante. Canaglia! I'll have your head! Oh, come on. Hey, Batman! No! That's enough for you, Batman! I got her off. Bloody great things. All I wanted to do was get the viewpoint. You didn't need to attack me, you know. Could you just let me climb the bloody tower? Up we go. Up we go, come on, up the tower. I want to get these few points down. Oh my god. Right. That's that viewpoint done, finally. <laughs> Let's hope they're all not like that at all. That we can just climb straight up, get the viewpoint, and get out of there. Right. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh dear. Mm. Not good. Cause splat. Oh. Don't need to climb that viewpoint again, thank god. Just need to now select the other viewpoint and get the over there and get it climbed and done and finished. Oh, uh, we're gonna go this way. And this way some more. And we're gonna go and avoid that. Because I can't be bothered to deal with the bloody shit storm that I got the last time I did that. Yeah, yeah he's up there. Santa Pietro di Castello. Castle of Peter? Or Saint Peter, I believe. May be wrong on that. As I've said before, my foreign languages are not good, <laughs> to say the least. That one next.
Welcome, distinguished Lien. There's the doctor. We used about yeah, eight but... bloody heels there. Yeah, you got that. We can now fight more poisons as well. You should feel not that we'll ever use that yeah. many, but you know, got it. Why not have them when you can? That tower over there is where I'm headed. Oh well, I just robbed someone again. Accidentally. Again. Does there something in? Running through the old gardens like that. You must be late. And she must be beautiful. Come on. Up this tower as well. Alright, got that round to this side. So we can find the bloody tower. Believe me, if you try and go around the, the other side while you are on that level with those nice little four corner bits, you can't. Alright, we'll do that and then we'll look for where the bloody hay bale is this time, shall we? Before we jump off. Right, it is over there. So we're going to go this way. While it's doing that, we're going to go and get that. Because why the hell not? Look at that, there's even some thieves in the way for us. Uh, oh, it's on this side. I'm failing that now, look. There it is. After you. Oh, face off, will ya? <laughs> Sorry, annoying me there. Right, there's another codex page acquired. Next one will be that one. Because we're just going to do the nearest ones first. Or the easiest to navigate to ones first, shall we say. If it wasn't a busy moment, I'd stop it. Do you require a medical assistant? Well, there's a thief there, and there's a thief there. We're not going to pop either of them because. Oh, and another one! Bloody hell! Whoops. Back up there, please. Oh, stop chasing the thieves, Mark. We'll just get on with the bloody game. Oh, my God. Whoops. Burning into people is so much fun. Well, you get out of the way, not. I'll do that with you. See, sometimes that can help. Keep running into people. Just throw a couple of people about a bit. They'll soon get out your way. Alright, that's that one. Going upwards. There's the next one's over there, look. And it's just going to be a damn sight easier. Get there. If not on the rooftops, then once we're at least two streets closer, look. Right, up we go. Here we go. Wonder how that happened. I haven't a clue. Sorry, officer, I didn't see anything. He just jumped. He must have done. No one was there. Oh dear. There you go. That's why I like these viewpoints. They tell you which way to jump. You jump off the end of it. That way you know where the hay bale is. Put you on a cross. Ooh, you can go in any direction. One of them's right. 
we're not going to tell you which one. Should we go for that one then? Furthest away, so why not? We'll do that one and then come back to the other. Yeah, look, mate, I'm gone. Uh, I'm here because I just jumped off of something cool and then landed in a hay bale. That's why I'm here. Oh god, it's this thing. Okay, um, no, I'm going the wrong way then, I don't think. I can't remember. Oh, I hate this thing. Um, there's a certain way around it. And it's going to take me a minute to remember it. Right, okay. Is there a simple bridge into it? Um... Not anywhere near where I am. Fantastic. Okay, let's just follow this bit around and we'll see if we can find a way in. I know I've said I'm not going to grab every chest, but that one's going to be a pain in the ass to get to in the, at the end of the day, so. Why are you shouting at me? When I'm not even up anywhere, really. I climbed on a uh, roof. A uh, wall. Even, not even a roof. It was just a wall. There he is. He's losing yep, you can hate me if you want, mate. I don't give a shit. Oh, I can't see him anymore. That's why I got rid of him. Oh, I did. He's not following me anymore, is he? No, he committed suicide. Because he decided to jump off the roof. For God knows what reason. Um, I've got a funny feeling that this one is going to be on a boat. Or not. I can't remember. Oh, it's that thing there. Look, look there's a feather there. I have to remember that for later. Um, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> nope, not like that then. Um, it must have come down, I think, actually. Yeah, you can't get up like that. Got to be another way up. And I think it's that bit there. Yeah, look, got to climb this roof. Climb up, climb up, climb up. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Has he been drinking? It's been a long time since I've done this one, so you have to give me. Okay. So you can go like that. Like that. And then we just follow the bloody thing around until we get to the U point. Which is just here. Yeah, that's that viewpoint done. Awkward one. I think some of me will probably have to climb up there at least once more. Because, you know, Ubisoft like doing that. Oh, was it difficult to get out of there? Oh, well, we're going to have you do it at least twice more. Or once more. Or, you know, just six times more. We just thought you might enjoy it. Yeah. You're on a boat. We are going to go running around that bloody wall again to get to this last one. We're going to go for a swim. Because it's quicker and easier and... I won't be angry. <laughs> and I forget exactly where it is. Grab that. Come around here and go up there. Oops, that just fell off. Lovely tight. Right, 
In each of wisdom, the minor council has approved the reopening of slave links with the coastal cities of the Ah, goody. I know the church, right? Right, okay. That's the last viewpoint in this area. Right, let's go do the first mission for this section of it. Or do we go to Leonardo first? Let's go to Leonardo first, shall we? We'll see what we decide to do after we've done Leonardo. Ooh. Gorgeous map. Yeah, I wanted the 1500, mate. Not that I need it. I'm going to stop chasing the guards and the thieves, I think. I don't think there's much point in me doing that anymore. What with my uh, 160,000 and no armor, weapons or paintings to buy. Or upgrades. Or anything at all. <laughs> oh dear. Go see Mr. Leonardo, get these codex pages done, or are we going to go talk to him first? Let's talk to this gentleman first. The reason? No. No, Leonardo first. I don't know. We'll do Leonardo first. If it ends up that I've got another codex page, then we'll go see Leonardo again next time. But we'll go see Leonardo now. Get these ones done. Um, is he on this side or this side? He's on this side, isn't he? Yeah, he's on this side. It's always in a little quiet of it. Right. Mr. Leonardo, translate me some codexes, please. Leonardo, Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha, -ha, you found another one. How exciting. I see. If I just rearrange these letters. Here, it's done. Voila. Right. Since that was so quick, we are going to go and do this first bit. It's probably just talk to the man, to be honest. But uh, let's go there anyway and, and do that. Oh, we're back in the Palazzo. Lovely. I love this place. Not. So difficult to get into to start with. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarico, soon to be Doge of Venezia. Thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. We've located Silvio Babarigo for you. He's fled into l'arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. Lovely, right. Okay, not that one. That's the one we want. Silvio Barbarigo. Raised by wealthy merchants, Silvio was introduced to politics when his father was cut out of the family inheritance. From then on, Silvio worked for his uncle, his father's killer. Apparently, he had a knack for persuasion. Quickly, he became his uncle's advisor, proving his worth by discovering a Saranzo plot against the Barbarigos. You're gonna love this. Before the plot could be carried out, Silvio throws an Easter celebration, inviting the Saranzos. There's a pageant for the children in the central courtyard, while Silvio escorts the parents to the roof. He toasts the family, then signals the archers hidden behind the courtyard windows. The Saranzos never plotted against the Barbarigos again. Fast forward ten years, and Silvio's living in his uncle's luxurious Venetian palazzo. According to the history books, his uncle died in bed. <laughs> How uh, unlucky for him. There we go. Right. Okay, so. 
that has set us up with a lot to do. We've got more assassination missions in this new area. We've got a race there. Got any others? No, just a race there. Assassinations, main mission. I've got to do a feather guide and other stuff as well. But uh, that's where we're going to leave it today. I hope you've had fun. hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do hit like. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. It will let you know when the next video comes out. And it does help with our uh, algorithm. As does leaving a comment of any kind. Even if you just want to say you're shit. I don't mind. I'll take those. Um, <laughs> it helps the algorithm either way. Um, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.